All right, let's get let's get this for the Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Come get it, come get it, come get it, come get it, come get it. Come on, come on, come on. That's right. Everyone smile. Yeah, party. Are you okay? He's not are you okay? Reality. All right, do me a favor, just please stand over here. Are you hurt or injured? Christian. Okay, just do me a favor, just please stand right there, okay? Ma'am, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you He's hurt or injured? No, okay, do me a favor, just stand by right here, okay? What you got out there? No, I'm 
no, leave me alone. We were, I was just going home. I was just going home. We we're just going home. Okay. Were you were you driving this vehicle? No. Which vehicle were you driving? That one over there? Okay. Where were you sitting at, ma'am? I was sitting on the right. Of which vehicle, ma'am? This vehicle. He was just taking me home. Okay. Let me see your arm. Okay. Just make sure you just stay there, okay? Okay. Have you had anything to drink today, ma'am? I know I should have waited for my mom, but... Okay. What is your name? I want her mom Okay. All right. Why don't you do me a favor? Let's come stand over here for me, please. I wake up with my siblings. I want to I want to do some tests just to make sure that you That's haven't been driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? You said you have okay. been drinking, right? Okay. What have you been drinking? He was just he asked me if I wanted to ride home, and I said yeah. Okay. Shots of I what? Had to call my mom. Um, she'll be on her way. Some beer, a little bit of vodka. Okay. So the first the test I want time. you to go ahead and do is just put your right foot in front of your in front of your left. Okay. Put your hands to your side. Okay. So you'll start something like this. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, until you get to nine. Go ahead and start. One, two, three. Hey guys, can you help around with the race? Four, Gurney? Five, what happened here? Head on collision. Nine. One ejection. Ten. Two in here. Okay. What's you want to return? Do nine steps back. Do you know where you're at right now? What? Uh, no worries, don't move your head at all. Can I get someone to hold T-spine on him? Okay. Can you hold T-spine on him too? Yes, please. Where's that helicopter going to land? Where's it going to land? Right here? Yeah, we got all the parts there. Good deal. All right. Okay. So what I want you to go ahead and do is just stand here for me, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead and do right. Right, okay, go ahead and do left. And go ahead and do left. Okay, just uh, do me a favor, just go ahead and relax here. I'm gonna go to my car, I'll be right back, okay? As soon as we get her out, we're gonna get her on some oxygen. She's on the back border, right? So go ahead and take a deep breath, and go ahead and blow until I tell you to stop. Harder. There you go. Okay. So, ma'am, based on on your uh, your alcohol content, How are you you're telling me that you've been drinking today. Your symptoms and your test, I believe that you are under the influence of alcohol. Go ahead and face that way, put your hands behind your back for me. You are being placed under arrest. Okay. It's going to take a little while, we're going to get a blood pressure on him while he's in here. We're working on that side. Huh? Just like that. Just one more cut? All right. This way. We can see Spiner. We can see Spiner from there. If you want, we can move the seat forward, and then we can get the uh, backboard right underneath the butt. Layer backwards. Okay. Sounds good. Go ahead and have a seat, ma'am. And watch your head. You're just going. Underneath, underneath her, actually her. Yeah, there it is. Lift up her hip a little bit, and then you can wedge that board underneath. Don't cut it yet. Okay, guys. So we're going to fly out this one right here. Altered mental status. Seems like she has some distension in the abdomen. Uh, and squeeze my hand a little bit. And then we got paralysis in there. We're going to take it to the trauma center. I um, wasn't able to tell, but both of them are fairly Which hand do you write with? My right hand. We have 111 on straps over here. We have an open fracture over there. We're going to be taking her. Here. Ma'am, are you awake? What's going on? You gotta tell me what happened. Where are you hurting right now? Is hurting where I'm feeling? Looks like we've got a bad contusion to the head. Um, open skull fracture. 
All right, yeah. go ahead and I put that on there. I got tape right here. No, you just Are you going to put it on the board? Yeah. And you just put the, the sticky side underneath there. Underneath there. That's fine. There you go. Good thing is she has a pulse right now. All right. Uh, we weren't able to get a blood pressure before the extrication. We're going to put her on a helicopter right now, and she's going to get flown out to the trauma center, OK? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get this one underneath. Move his hand. Yeah. There, move there. Slowly and Watch the sharp edge. Watch the sharp edges. Yeah, we got it. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna give you some pain medication in the back of the ambulance. We're gonna take good care of you. Your friends are doing okay for right now. There's a yellow handle right there. I need you to grab it with your good arm. Get moving. He's, he's hurt bad. Okay. Bryce, are you okay? Bryce! Seventeen-year-old uh, female involved in NBA, right front passenger, uh, wearing a seatbelt, loss of consciousness upon impact. Um, I get diminished lung sounds on the right side. Uh, unable to obtain an IV. Uh, salt pressure has dropped. Uh, purple at about seventy. Uh, we're gonna need probably two IVs. Unable to get it. Okay, I got no pulse. We need to go ahead as far as it She yeah, looks no like she's in V-fib. Start compressions. Got it? Got another IV established over here on this side. We'll go ahead with the Epi. Epi 1 milligram is in with a 10 cc flush. Okay. okay. Go ahead and continue on with first compression. Go ahead and get ready to shock. Ready? You're clear, I'm clear, everybody clear? Clear. Clear. Continue on with chest compressions. In about two minutes, minutes since the last epi. So go ahead and get ready to um, administer another dose of epi right now. One milligram of epi is in. Switch. Right there, right there, right there. Okay. So nothing as far switch. as pulse check. Pulse check. 
I got, I got nothing. Got nothing. Got nothing. Got nothing. Got nothing. Continue on the CPR. Clear. Clear. I got nothing. They haven't been able to regain a pulse. Um, we've done as far as what we can with shocks, the delivery of the epi. There's no beat whatsoever. Did anybody object to calling it at this time? Time. Fourteen for now. Fourteen forty-eight. Thank you for all your help. Here's your stuff, ma'am. I'm gonna put you in here for now. Um, I'm gonna bring you out in like a minute or two once I get your mom on the phone, and I'll give you a five-minute phone call with her. Okay? Your daughter, Anne Marie, was in a really, that accident was horrible. Yes, um, and we worked on her a long time and did everything possible. We really did. Um, but the injuries that she sustained were, they were devastating. And um, I'm sorry to tell you that um, your daughter didn't make it. She I'm very sorry. Do you have any questions? Can I can I answer? There's anything else you can do? We we did we did everything. We we did CPR. We shocked her. We we shocked her several times. We gave her every medication that we could possibly give her, and um, her injuries were they were they were devastating. As far as at the scene, they were not able to. As far as get a pulse, we did everything as far as to give her the medicine to start her heart here. We even shocked her three different times with no response. My apologies to you. you. Spend as much time as you need. Do you want me to call someone for you? No. No. What do we got going on? What happened? Uh, um, we, we were just having, we were just partying. Partying. So mm -hmm. did you have something to drink tonight? Yeah, I had a little. A little. How much is a little? Uh, I can't exactly remember. You don't remember. Okay, so what's bothering you right now? Uh, I can't feel my, my lower legs. You can't feel your lower legs. Do you feel this? No. Feel this? No. Anything here? Mm -mm. Anything here? No. How about as far as this right here? You no. feel it in touching? No. Nothing whatsoever? Mm -mm, no, ma'am. All right. How about up here? Yes. You feel this up here, but nothing down below. Okay. We'll go ahead and order as far as the CT x-rays. We'll get some as far as medicine, but let me go talk to the parents and let them know as far as what I found. I'll be right back. Show you where they're at. 
Family for Brides? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Fudd, you're coming this way. We'll talk here in the hall. But just a moment, give us a little bit of privacy. Sounds to me like um, your son has had a little bit to drink. Um, unfortunately, he has sustained some pretty serious injuries, meaning he has a um, broken back and is paralyzed from the waist down. Mm. So I'm probably going to be able to walk, so I'm going to take you this way so that you can see him a little bit further. Okay. okay. You can go ahead and come on up and as far as on either side, see him. Right now, we still have him supported because of the injury of his back. Come on up to both sides. I'm out. Oh. Still. I guess you're not playing Friday, huh? Were you the front or the back? Mm, to the back. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. What happened? I I just took a few drops and I thought I was fine. And we got in a car accident. And I don't know if Andrew's okay. I don't know. But I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Did you turn into the car? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I think it was bad. Sorry. Who was in the car? It was me and Anne Marie, and Bryce was in the back. I'm sorry. Just. I'm sorry too. <laughs> what does that mean? What's gonna happen? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. College, I mean, a lot's going to be affected by this. Family, we what had great thing? plans. You guys have great dreams. <laughs> you know, one mistake and can change your whole life, your whole future, everything. We have a lot, a lot of thinking and explaining to do. There's other families involved that you hurt. Oh my gosh. Physically and emotionally hurt other people. And you got to live with that now for a long time. Uh, hopefully everybody's okay, Sammy. I don't know. <sighs> there was a crash this afternoon uh, in front of Lamar PD, or Lamar High School, excuse me. And a um, drunk driver was involved. Your son, Chris, was in one of the cars that was involved. And unfortunately, Chris did not survive the accident. He was killed on the scene. He's been transported here, and we're on uh, the coroner's getting his body ready so that you can make a positive identification. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. The car Chris was in was not involved in it, drunk driving. Those kids were all sober. Can we see him? Uh, the coroner's getting him in a position to where you can't see him. You won't be able to have uh, a lot of contact with him. And I should prepare you um, because he died on scene. Um, he does have injuries and there is blood and they haven't cleaned his body and prepared him. He won't look the way that you would imagine. He would look for a funeral. He's, 
it looks like a crash victim, and that can be very traumatic. So I'm sorry about that as well. But. Follow me. Right this way. Everybody. Okay, let's go back out here so we can get 